it's more known as like this galactic extraterrestrial like super connect cosmically man like all that kind of stuff so it can align your chakras like boom 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 just boom. i'm a firm believer of anything that's intense you you gotta go into it it's like play big or go home right i have yeah. a crystal for that ah! <laughs> Molnavite is a crystal that, um, especially for like big seekers in the new age community, they're like, if they want to like get super spiritual, they're like looking for Moldavite. It's always like, um, and there's a lot of fake Moldavite on the market too. So you have to be careful because it does only come from a very specific region in the Czech Republic. Um, but so just to start off, Moldavite's the one that everyone hears about first. Um, and I only happen to have like a little piece right here. Um, oh, you can so, see it's so good. Yeah, it's um, green and it's like a glass texture. Um, and but but when you see it, like if you see it in a crystal bowl, it can almost look kind of black. So it's you can only see that it's green when the, the light is passing through. It's really bumpy. Sorry, zoom. I'm like, there we go. Mm -hmm. you can like really see it. But this is a nice piece. Um, so it's a heart chakra stone and you can kind of see that based on the color green right sometimes it's like really simple the color of the stone sort of corresponds to which chakra that it's going to work with the heart chakra is green but this is people don't even tend to think of moldavite as a heart chakra stone um it's more known as like this galactic extraterrestrial like super connect cosmically man like all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. uh stone and it's supposed to massively like blast your spiritual channels open and get you back into alignment so um the first time that i ever picked moldavite up one of my very best friends jamie lynn hart um singer songwriter check her out jamie hart <laughs> um, but she she was like hold this and it was the first time that I'd ever held a crystal and I could feel it. I was like, but I didn't feel it in my palm. Um, I felt like my whole body was like electrified and it was a little uncomfortable. I was like, ooh, and I gave it back to her. Like I didn't want to hold on to it. And uh, so you kind of have to be ready for it because what it does uh, from my understanding, and you can chime in here in a minute, Christina, but it, it brings all of your it brings you into alignment very quickly. So it can align your chakras like boom, 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 just boom, brings everything kind of into alignment very quickly, which is why if you're super out of alignment, um, it can feel very jarring to your system. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of, you know, I'm an astrologer too. So I talk about eclipses sometimes have this similar effect um, on people is it will bring you back into alignment. And now if you are really far off your path, you're going to have to get dragged across the <laughs> abyss to get back on might be like a bit of a bumpy ride, right? So people will notice when they start to work with Moldavite, um, sometimes that, you know, there's, it accelerates shift in your life. So if things need to exit that are lower vibrating or no longer resonating with you, they will go quicker, sometimes a little bit um, less gracefully, new things are coming in. So it's like, but it is like a very high vibration stone. So it shifts your energy very quickly. Um, yeah, I actually have a couple other pieces here too. Um, and I like to say also, um, oh, that like nice any, one. yeah, I got this at Emporium. Um, yeah. This is a gentler piece. So even among crystals, each piece feels different. Like you want to always just kind of feel it out. There are other pieces of Moldavite I've picked up where I'm like, that is way too much for me. Um, but yeah, so it's an accelerator. It accelerates your shift. It accelerates your growth. And so you have to decide that you're ready for that. Um, because if you're really looking to grow, it's not necessarily um, super smooth. But also I've seen people put Moldavite on I've, in our store, in Emporium. I saw a regular customer, literally I've seen several people go through this where they're in tears, like in a good yeah. way. They have it on and then all of a sudden they're like, oh my God. And like, it feels really good to their system. So it doesn't have to just be like this anxiety inducing shock. It just really depends on where you are. So what, what's your experience been with it, Christina? Yeah, on that note, backtracking a moment, depending on where you are and the power of it too is, you know, think about it, some people, that kind of remind me, I just, I just took like this Tony Robbins um, 
seminar and one of the things he has you look at your your warrior and your lover and your um it's some, pretty much just like a parts integration but you have your warrior your lover your sovereign which is like your your king and um your magician inside of you and that they're different parts of your body and you kind of put them all together and and when he has you tap into those different aspects of yourself uh you know, a lot of times, like for instance, the magician. Uh, since I've been going through a lot, just being being raw and open, uh, the magician normally in somebody's life is like the fun, uh, light-hearted, childlike energy that just wants to have fun with life, wants to embrace everything, doesn't take anything that seriously. Well, when we got to connecting me with my magician, I started bawling because I've wow. been so disconnected from that aspect of, of the self, but it was in the same way what you're describing with some of the customers, this bawling of joy of like, I remember to remember who I am. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Right? And, and it's a feeling that's like beyond a cognitive, they don't even really know what's happening. They're just having this feeling. Yeah. And so yeah. the best that I could use to describe that is, is this remembers to remember who they are, like this feeling of there I am again, there's my soul again, mm -hmm. as they get reconnected to that aspect of their self. So I would almost feel like a lot of people maybe had these disconnects from parts of their self that the Moldavite immediately put them back into alignment, which yeah. goes with what you're saying. It's this alignment and they missed that or it was closed off or it was sheltered or it was locked away in a door that once that realigned, they were like, oh my God, there I am again, like seeing an old friend that you haven't seen in a while or connecting with them and you give them a hug and you're just like, oh my God, I'm home, you know? Um, yeah. And that's kind of uh, my experience with, with Moldavite is similar to that. However, I've always been more drawn to meteorites, which we'll get into a little bit uh, uh, later. But, you know, also on the Moldavite aspect, uh, when, you know, you got to think about, as Rebecca was saying, everything's being, has different energy, okay? So Moldavite, what it is, is it's earth matter that got hit with a meteorite. Right. And so like this is the byproduct of it. So it does have that cosmic collision. But where did the meteorite hit? Was it in the center? Was it right underneath where the meteorite hit? Was it off to the side because the energetic and the heat from that meteorite is going to go out in different directions? What was the makeup of the Earth? And that's why you might see things that are look a little bit more translucent or a little bit greener or whatever the case may be or darker, or almost black because you're getting different parts of this, you know, um, in different areas and different locations. So the makeup is slightly different, but, um, and so some, some stones, and this goes for any crystal. I mean, think about that. Like when you look at rose quartz or amethyst or anything like that, sometimes you have really deep purple and sometimes you have really light purple. And sometimes you have uh, uh, amethyst that looks like it has like little red dots or little black dots in it. And sometimes it can be super clear and it, in a, it, different makeup while it was forming creates those colors, different levels mm -hmm. of iron, different levels of mineral composites and different density. And so that's along the same line of, of Moldavite, but also any crystal. So if people are buying crystals or looking at it, they might say, why did I feel all of this energy for this one? Or maybe this one was too intense, like, like what Rebecca was saying, that that first piece maybe was too intense, but maybe she still needed to work with it. I'm a firm believer of anything that's intense, you, you got to go into it. It's like play big or go home, right? You know, like we're here on this journey of life. If, if I mean, I get it. I get, I do get it that sometimes people, myself included, beg for a simpler, easier way when sometimes it feels like there's a thunderstorm going on and you're like, I just wanted a mild rain, you know? Uh, <laughs> but if you go through that thunderstorm, a lot more happens during that time than the mild rain. 
The mild rain doesn't penetrate the soil so deep that it causes the drought that had been there to revitalize the plants. The deep thunderstorm, though, will penetrate that soil, will bring things back to life, will change and uproot things that need to be uprooted. And it's like, okay, um, so in that, think about any of these stones and even, I mean, congratulate yourself if you're, if you're even interested in watching this podcast, you've already hit the, the um, reverse on the conveyor belt to say, I'm ready to evolve in this lifetime. Um, now, if you're interested in Moldavite specifically, that's even a further calling of let me get into alignment. And I always like to give the analogy of a conveyor belt coming towards you and most of the time life is gentle with most humans and they kind of space things out and say okay you're going to have three big life, left, life, life lessons in your life and you know one's going to happen when you're 25 one's going to happen when you're 50 and one's going to happen when you're 65 or something like that you know i'm just being theoretical here but and you grow when you grow mildly in your life and you have some mild ahas and you develop but you don't massively change or develop your spirit. And I mean, everybody could have their own spiritual belief system, but I believe that our souls continue to evolve beyond this lifetime. That's my personal belief. You don't have to have that. Well, wherever you go or whatever you believe, let that be uh, for you. But take it for a, a, a moment that if that was the case, and then my belief system is like, I, all of these things are coming at you. And so instead of doing one lifetime of evolution, maybe you do five lifetimes of evolution, maybe you do 10 lives of evolution. So they have to be spaced out less, they have to hit you more frequently. And sometimes the lessons have to come harder in order for you to get beyond it. Um, so I don't know, hopefully that's a good me metaphor for you so that you know when it's happening, it's life is happening for you, it's not happening to you. And the more you can think about that, this is happening for me. I called in these problems, these complications, these struggles, so I could evolve, so I could get to a higher plane, so I could get to the next thing, so I can play the bigger levels in the video games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, that it happens to us a lot of the time in our lives beyond our control, right? And the cool thing when you're working with, when you're consciously making the choice to work with uh, a stone like Moldavite, you're saying, all right, I am going to lean into this. But it's very futuristic, it's very revolutionary, and it destabilizes to bust out of old systems and old paradigms right so it launches you with like this cosmic thunderbolt sort of galactic energy into the future whether you're ready or not right so um but it's lovely and one of the things that's so important about moldavite that i wanted to touch on because you brought this up is that um being linked into your purpose right um i think you did now i'm trying to now i'm yeah. ungrounded and trying to remember how it all links back but it's a heart chakra stone, right? And so people don't tend to talk that much about that aspect of Moldavite. They think of it more as like higher chakras. So very cosmic consciousness, very, um, very more like cerebral and energetic, but it is a stone of the heart. And if you think about your life purpose and the way that you're connecting with other people, you're connecting uh, with your own spirit or you're connecting with source energy, it, the portal of connection is always in the heart. I think that's my belief. Like, I think your heart is a portal for the divine in yeah. your energetic system. And um, so when you feel things in your heart, you can, that's like your divine guidance, right? <laughs> and so anyway, Moldavite really activates that. It's like a profound activation. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.